guys and welcome back to my channel today i want to do a different type of video i've never done this on my channel but i wanted to do it because watching for me watching these videos it relaxes me a lot so i wanted to go ahead and do one of these videos on my channel and it is a decluttering video and i'm gonna be declaring my liquid lipsticks lipsticks section that i have right here i feel like if you look at my my collection of lipsticks they're all kind of on the same tone which i don't mind i love my liquid lipsticks i love my lipsticks but i feel like i need to make space for new ones maybe different colors don't know but i wanted to do that today and i wanted to do it with you guys so join me in and declaring my liquid lipstick slash lipsticks collection so if you guys can see right here this is where i keep all of my lipsticks liquid lipsticks and this is what you guys see in the back of my videos i got this from tj maxx if i'm not mistaken or i believe it's home goods either one so yeah let's just go ahead and get started okay so we're gonna start with the top drawer we're gonna go in order and this is my little Ofra Cosmetics little drawer. This is where I keep all of my Ofra Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. I have them separated by brands, most likely by brands. I try to. So let's just go ahead and swatch this one and see which ones I'm going to keep and which ones I'm starting ways with. So here are the three colors that many MVA collaborated with Ofra. Starting from over here, this is Charm. Areas in the middle and hypno on the top. I absolutely love the three colors But I think the one that I will use the less it will be areas So I'm gonna keep this one on the side because I think I have another color uh, From another brand on the same color. So I'll see which one I would rather keep if it's this one or the other color next up We have this beautiful color. It's called Santa Monica and I actually wore this color once it's super super bold and pretty this is like this pink fuchsia color so this right here is Santa Monica on the top it's this beautiful color right here it's really pretty definitely not getting rid of that it's very bold and you can do so many things with it okay next up is the collection that Nikki Tutorials did with Ofra Cosmetics this is from the first collection that they did and we're gonna swatch them as well and then I will choose which ones to keep so here we have them starting from the bottom again this is spell this is nude potion and this right here is coven so as you guys can see from the colors that she did the most wearable ones is literally the top to the bottom one it's an orange it's a beautiful color but it's a more a less wearable color I don't know if I'm gonna keep that one nude potion is this one right here I feel like it's a little bit too similar to areas. I'm gonna swatch them right next to each other next so that way we can decide. And Coven, I think Coven is more wearable. Um, it is this beautiful color right here. I really like Coven, so Coven for sure we're gonna keep. And now we're gonna go ahead and swatch areas and nude potion and see which one we're gonna keep. Okay, so this one right here is areas. So as you guys can see, it's a a lot more peachy than nude potion so this is areas right here and this is nude potion nude potion is a true nude color it doesn't have any peachy undertones or anything like that so they're very very different i'm gonna keep them aside because i'm not sure which one i'm gonna keep to continue with the collaborations no for cosmetics and kathleen lights collection collaboration this is miami fever on the top and this one is havana nights I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep both of them, but I'm gonna swatch them. They're both very, both very different and they're perfect for the fall right now. All right, so we have here Havana Nights. So it's like a more wine dark color. It's perfect for fall right now. And this one is Miami Fever. It's more of a brick color. I absolutely love both of them, so I'm gonna keep both. So far, guys, we're doing bad. I have only gotten rid of one. Not even. Next we have this one. Which I don't know the name of it because it didn't have the sticker like the rest of them. The rest of them have the sticker on the bottom. So I don't remember the name of this one. So this is the color right here. I think it's perfect for fall as well because it's like this dark berry color but not too dark. I don't know. It's like pinkish with berry. I don't know how to describe it but I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to keep it too and... I suck at this guys I really do this one is in the color Napa Bali and it's a very different type of color as well so here's Napa Bali I think this is the one I'm gonna part ways with it's not really 
my color is very beautiful it's this very metallic purpley color but it's not a color that I will use on a daily basis so I'm gonna part ways with that one and next up we have three three colors that I do like a lot from Ofra Cosmetics and I'm definitely gonna be keeping this ones. Okay, so we have here, we have from starting from the bottom, this is Americano. The next one is Laguna Beach, which is this one right here. And the one on the top is Pasadena. And I think all of these three colors, I'm gonna toss them because the formula is not good anymore. I think I had them for a little bit too long or pretty much I used them all up because they're just little samples like this. It's not like an, a regular size liquid lipstick like this one. So I think I'm going to toss this ones and get new ones because I absolutely love these colors. Especially Laguna Beach and um, Pasadena. Those are my two favorites for like everyday colors. I absolutely love them. So as you guys can see right here, this is pretty much what I had left from my Ofra Cosmetic liquid lipsticks. As you guys remember, this was all full and I had like one or two on the top. So this is what we are left with. I'm gonna move on to the next little drawer and this one it is jam packed. So here we have my ColourPop Cosmetics liquid lipsticks pretty much. I have a lot of them. I have some, a few from Kylie Jenner, the KKW Times Kylie Jenner collection and I believe I have one from Tarte from our last BoxyCharm. So we're gonna go ahead and see which ones we can get rid of this ones. I'm gonna go through the ColourPop lip, uh, lippies first. I love their formula, but there's some that I can get rid of right now, which are this one right here in the color Crumpet, which is really nice. And I have worn it before, it's very comfortable on the lips, but again, it's very out there, it's very unique. And this is in the cream finish, so I'm gonna get rid of that one for sure. Let me see this color popping. No, I can't get rid of this one. It's too pretty. This is popping right here. I'm definitely gonna keep that one. It's a beautiful color. So the next one we're gonna part ways is Baywatch. It's this one right here. It's a beautiful color, but I have several ones that look like that. So I think that's gonna be my thing. If, you, if I have something similar to it, I'm getting rid of it. This one right here is She Bad. This is an ultra matte. I have used this one several times and I really like it. So I'm keeping that one. This one is called Hush Pit and this one is, yeah, I can't get rid of that one either. This one I have used it before too and I really like it. Oh, this is just a matte. This is Hush Pit. Okay, so this is the liquid lipsticks that I have from ColourPop. I'm gonna just go through them quickly because I think this is gonna take me the longest. And I think I'm gonna do a part two video because I have way too many to do just in one video. So this is 9 to 5 from ColourPop. It was one of their promotions ones that they had and this is an ultra glossy one. I'm keeping it because I like it. This one up, it's in the color Bianca. I can tell you right now I'm gonna be keeping this one. Here we have Bianca on the top. I really like this one, it's really pretty. This sun right here, it's messing me up. This right here is one of my favorite ColourPop colors. And this is, in the, this is an ultra satin in the color Strip. And it's this one right here. It's super, super pretty. I absolutely love it. And the ultra satin ones are my favorite formula for them. Next one up is in the color Beeper. This is a staple. Next up, we have this color Alicia. And this is, I believe, a collaboration. Another, one of the collaborations that Kathleen Lights did with ColourPop. And this is a satin color. I really like this one. It's very hard for me to get rid of collaborations. It really is. So this is Alicia right here. So this is another col uh, collaboration. This is the Sarah, I love Sarah E, which is Karen. It's ColourPop, this is actually, of course I'm gonna support her. I'm gonna support my Latinas. So I had to keep them. And this is the gloss right here. It's really nice and pretty. This is another collaboration. I'm not sure which one was this one with, but it's the black top and the frosted bottle. And this is a, an ultra matte in the color Perky which is this one right here. It's a darker color. It's really pretty too. So keeping that. Not getting rid of many ColourPop ones. This is another one ColourPop Ultra Matte in the color Take 5. Another, it's another one of limited edition one. So this is another gloss that I absolutely love. And this is in the color Bestie. And I just absolutely love it. So it's this one right here on the top. 
So this is right here, Lemire 2. And I think I'm gonna part ways with that one. I don't like the way it looks on me. So I'm getting rid of that one. This right here is Naked Ladies. I absolutely love the color too. It's this one right here. It's like this orangey color, but... Uh, I'm gonna put it on the Make Me Pile because I think one of the, the lippies ones it's very similar to that one, so I'll see. The next up is Cozy as an Ultra Satin as well. This is Cozy right here. They look super similar. They they really do. I'd rather just stay with Cozy. This is another one of the Kathleen Knight collaboration in November. I'm definitely keeping it. It's a staple. I absolutely love it. This one, it's in a collaboration with, with Hello Kitty. Definitely, definitely keeping. And this is in the color Surprise. This is such a pretty color, especially for the holidays coming up. This, so this is surprise right here. I believe it's a metallic. He has an ultra metallic color and it's just so stunning for the holidays. It's perfect. Oh, and the last one that I have right here, this is in the color Salty from Tarte. I don't really have a lot of Tarte products, but I think this is too light for me. So I'm just gonna pass it along to someone that would be able to use it. Okay, and this is how my ColourPop little drawer looks like. It's still pretty full, um, but again, all the bottom row is ColourPop up to here, and then I have my Kali Cosmetic ones, and then I have my ColourPop lippies, and here we have them. So I decided to change up my lippies again, and I just have my Ofra Cosmetics right here with my Kali Cosmetics. Um, I'd rather keep those two together and give ColourPop their own little drawer. Okay, so just to give a runway, these are the colors that we're getting rid of. So I'm getting rid of three ColourPop lippies. These are the two, three colors. I'm getting rid of Lumiere 2 by ColourPop as well. I'm getting rid of Napa Valley by Ofra Cosmetics. I'm getting rid of ColourPop Satin, Ultra Satin in the color Naked Ladies. Getting rid of Spell from Ofra Cosmetics. And I'm getting rid of Tarte Salty because it's too light for me. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that way YouTube can notify you every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!